request honorable chairman to welcome uh, uh, devi ji honorable minister of state for education i request uh, honorable chairman to welcome honorable uh, member of state for dr subhas sarkar ji i request uh, him to kindly honor or uh, Dr. Raj Kumar Singh, uh, Raj Kumar Ranjan Singh Ji, Honorable Minister of State for Education. So much privilege uh, to welcome uh, the Secretary of Education. is waiting for the annual release of uh, ranking of higher educational institutions and this year we had uh, 11 categories the last year we were ranking ranking of 10 categories which include seven or uh, domain specific ranking and three sub institutional specific ranking and this year a new category has been introduced that is research institutions so now i request uh, professor kk agrawal the chairman of nba kindly give a brief of uh, ranking of india ranking so please Uh, thank you, Anil. Uh, Honorable uh, Minister of Education, Sri Dharmendra Pradhan Ji. Honorable Ministers of State, Sri Mati Annapurna Devi Ji, Dr. Subhash Sarkar Ji, Dr. Raj Kumar Ranjan Singh Ji. Uh, Secretary, Ministry of Education, Sri Amit Khare Ji. My very distinguished, eminent colleagues, Professor D. P. Singh, Chairman, University Grants Commission. Dr. Sanani Sahasra Budde, Chairman, All India Council for Technical Education. Dr. Nasa, Member Secretary, and the dynamic leader of the workforce to declare the ranking. Uh, all the Vice Chancellors, Directors, Principals uh, who have joined us online, Nodal Officers of NIRF, and all the distinguished guests. It's indeed a great pleasure. and the privilege for us to request the honorable minister to declare the sixth consecutive edition of india ranking 2021 i am grateful to the honorable minister for sparing time for this uh, very important activity in the country to which the all institutions look forward to uh, due to covid we are slightly late this year but uh, uh, i hope in the future years will be able to make up friends i have always believed coincidences do not happen they are designed by god so it's probably in the fitness of things that this year nir a function coincides being a part of the shikshak parv which is being celebrated for the two weeks uh, which according to me indicates that ranking is now an integral part of total education system it's not a stand alone activity and uh, ranking should not be seen as an end itself it should only be seen as a means towards an end which is of quality improvement of higher education so this coincidence i think is a very great signal that now we should uh, see the ranking in its proper perspective as an integrator for quality in higher education uh this year we have uh, added a new category on research institutions because some of the institutions which are very good in research but not very strong in teaching numbers and all that uh, were also to be encouraged last year we included dental on the specific request of dental council of india for the ranking so i am so happy that uh, for the last few years ranking has got wide acceptance in the country and uh, we are grateful to infinitnet center and the ministry for giving all the guidance in this direction uh, which made us do this uh, uh, very heavy task well in time right from beginning ministry of education gave this uh, work of ranking to the national board of accreditation 
or probably because uh, National Board of Accreditation was well conversed with quality parameters, measurement, and uh, uh, declaration. And in the world over also we have seen the very first ranking in USA was also given to uh, by the North Central Accrediting Association of USA was given to the accrediting uh, uh, body. In the national ranking framework, we do give importance to teaching, learning and resources, research and professional <coughs> practice, graduation outcomes, outreach and inclusivity and perception with different weightages. And these weightages slightly vary from uh, category to category depending upon the relevance of the particular uh, category uh, to which we declare the ranking. Friends, this annual exercise of ranking institutions has been always evolving. Every year we have been making some improvements in the ranking framework because it's not a static situation which will continue and we'll continue to have the feedback and improve the ranking framework to the extent required every year. Uh, I'm sure this will continue for a few more years uh, before we uh, come to stabilize it. Uh, this year's rankings will be declared by Honorable Minister in a few minutes from now for each category and uh, I'm so happy that all the ministers in the ministry have uh, accepted this responsibility of uh, uh, declare the ranking uh, for various categories this year. This is a great encouragement for all higher educational institutions in the country. I would like to congratulate all the institutions which will be declared on very high ranks and also all others who participated in the ranking and all others who did not participate this year but will like to make it next year. We would love a situation where every institution in the country comes in the ranking framework so that all the stakeholders know where we stand. With this, I would like to congratulate India Rankings Team at the Ministry, NBA, Information and Library Network, Center for Working Meticulously and for doing a fabulous job of executing this mammoth task uh, every year and this year too. And with this, I once again uh, thank the Honorable Minister Sri Dharmendra Pradhanji and all the three ministers of state for encouraging this NIRF uh, for the benefit of higher education institutions in the country. Thank you very much. All the best, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, now may I request the Honorable Minister of Education to kindly release the India Ranking Award for 2021. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. And now I request uh, uh, Honorable Minister of Education, Sri Dhamendra Pradhanji, to announce the names of the winners of the first 10 institutions in over our category. Thank you, Mr. Nasa. Thank you, friends. In the first category, the overall one, first uh, in rank is Indian Institute of Technology, Madras. of Science, Bengaluru, Indian Institute of Technology, Mumbai, Indian Institute of Technology, Delhi, then Indian Institute of Technology, Kanpur, then Indian Institute of Technology, Kharagpur, Indian Institute of Technology, Hurki, Indian Institute of Technology, Gohati, then Jawaharlal Nehru University, JNU, Delhi, Banaras Hindu University, Banaras BHU. Congratulations to all the 10 important institutions. Thank you, Thank you very much, sir. Now may I request you to kindly uh, announce the names of the ten, first 10 institutions in the university categories. In the university category, following are the ranks. Indian Institute of Science, Bengaluru. Delhi. BHU. Banaras, Kolkata University, Kolkata, 
फिफ्थ अमृता विश्व विद्यापीठम कोयम्बूटूर देन सिक्स इज जामिया मिलिया इस्लामिया डेली सेवेंथ इज मणिपाल एकेडमी ऑफ हायर एजुकेशन मणिपाल एट्थ जादवपुर यूनिवर्सिटी कोलकाता नाइन्थ यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ हैदराबाद हैदराबाद टेंथ अलीगढ़ मुस्लिम यूनिवर्सिटी अलीगढ़ एजुकेशन यूनिवर्सिटी Thank you very much, sir. May I request your kind permission to uh, announce the names of first ten engineering colleges in the country? In the engineering category, India Institute of Technology, Madras, one. The rank is India Institute of Technology, Delhi. Rank three, India Institute of Technology, Mumbai. In fourth, India Institute of Technology, Kanpur. In fifth, IIT Kharagpur. Sixth, IIT Ruchi. Seventh, IIT Guwahati. Eighth, IIT Hyderabad. Ninth, National Institute of Technology, Trichurapalli. Tenth, National Institute of Technology, Karnataka. Congratulations, all. Thank you very much, sir. Now I request uh, Honorable Minister of State for Education, Dr. Raj Kumar Rajan Singh ji, to announce the first five names in the management categories. Yeah. During this Shiksha Prabha week, I feel proud and pride to declare the five ranking among the IIMs. First one, Indian Institute of Management, Ahmedabad. Second, Indian Institute of Management, Bangalore. Third, Indian Institute of Management, Kolkata. Fourth, Indian Institute of Management, Koji Kote, Kerala. Fifth, Indian Institute of Technology, Delhi. Thank you very much, sir. And now I request Honorable Minister of State for Education, Sri Mathi Anupurna Devi ji, to announce the names of ten institutes, ten colleges in the country, in the college categories. Dhanyavad, is Sikchak Paru ke avsar par, aaj Mahatpurna College ka announce karne ka jo avsar mila hai, Adhani Mantri ji, aur sabhi sammanit shati. Sab se pahla, Miranda House, Delhi. Ram College of Women, Delhi. Ram College, Chennai. Fourth, Saint Javier College, Kolkata. Ram Krishna Mission, Vidya Mandir, Howrah. P S G R, Krishna Mal College for Women, Coimbatore. Seventh, Presidency College, Chennai. Saint Stephen's College, Delhi. Hindu College, Delhi. Of Dasma Sriram College of Commerce, Delhi. Tamil College, Hazrat Danival. Thank you very much, Madam. Uh, now, may I request Dr. Subhash Sarkar, Honorable Minister of State for Education, to kindly uh, announce the names of the pharmacy institutions in the pharmacy category. First five. It is pleasure to announce Indian ranking. In the Shikshak Parva 2021, from 5th to 17th September, and the nation is on the mode of celebration of Ajadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav. The ranking amongst the pharmacy institution, the first one is Jamia Hamdar Delhi. Second one is Punjab University Chandigarh. Third is Billa Institute of Technology and Science. Pilani. Fourth is National Institute of Pharmaceutical Education and Research, Mohali. And the fifth is Institute of Chemical Technology, Mumbai. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. And now I will request you to kindly announce the names of the medical institutions, the first five institutions in the medical category. Yes. Amongst the medical institution, All India Med Institute of Medical Science, New Delhi is the first one. 
पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ मेडिकल एजुकेशन एंड रिसर्च चंडीगढ़ थर्ड इज क्रिश्चियन मेडिकल कॉलेज वेलोर फोर्थ इज नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ मेंटल हेल्थ एंड न्यूरो साइंस बेंगलोर फिफ्थ इज संजय गांधी पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ मेडिकल साइंस लखनऊ Now it is RP teacher. May I request uh, Honorable Minister of State for Education, Dr. Raj Kumar Ranjan Singh Ji, to announce the first five names in the RP teacher category, sir. Uh, I am happy to announce uh, the five, first five ranking among the architecture institutions: Indian Institute of Technology, Roorkee. <laughs> Second, National Institute of Technology, Calicut. Third ranking is Indian Institute of Technology, Kharagpur. Fourth is School of Planning Architecture, New Delhi. Fifth is Center for Environmental Planning and Technology, University, Ahmedabad. Thank you very much, sir. <coughs> Now may I request Honorable Minister of State for Education, Srimati Anupurna Devi Ji, to kindly announce the first five ranks in the law category. मुझे अत्यंत हर्ष है कि पांच लॉ कॉलेज जो महत्वपूर्ण है उसका पहला नेशनल लॉ स्कूल ऑफ इंडियन यूनिवर्सिटी बेंगलोर नेशनल लॉ यूनिवर्सिटी न्यू दिल्ली नलसार यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ लॉ हैदराबाद द वेस्ट बंगाल नेशनल यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ जुडिशियल साइंसेस कोलकाता इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी खड़गपुर Thank you very much, ma'am. Now, may I request Honorable Minister of State for Education, Dr. Subha Sarkarji, to announce the first five names in the dental categories. Once again, I am happy to announce the institution of dental rank, dental colleges. This is the first one is Manipal College of Dental Science, Manipal. Second is Dr. D. Y. Patil, Vidyapeet, Pune. Third is. Shabita Institute of Medical and Technical Sciences, Chennai. <laughs> Molana Azad Institute of Dental Science, Delhi. And fifth is King George Medical University, Lucknow. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, now we have introduced this year a new ranking that is uh, research institutions in the institutions category, and I request Honorable Minister of Education, Sri Dhanendra Pradhan ji. To announce the first five names in the research institutions category. Now, in this new category of research institutions, the rank one is Indian Institute of Science, Bengaluru. Indian Institute of Technology, Madras. Three, Indian Institute of Technology, Mumbai. Four. Indian Institute of Technology Delhi fifth Indian Institute of Technology Kharagpur thank you very much sir uh, for kind release of the rankings and announcement of ranking of first five and 10 institutions in respective categories now i request uh, honorable minister of education sir dhirmendra pradhan to give his address on the ranking thank you very much thank you shrimati annapurna devi ji शिक्षा राज्य मंत्री डॉक्टर सुभाष सरकार जी शिक्षा राज्य मंत्री जी डॉक्टर राजकुमार रंजन सिंह जी शिक्षा राज्य मंत्री श्री अमित खरे जी सेक्रेटरी हायर एजुकेशन श्री डीपी सिंह जी चेयरमैन यूजीसी श्री अनिल सहस्र बुद्धे जी चेयरमैन एआईसीटी श्री के के अग्रवाल जी चेयरमैन एनबीए डॉक्टर अनिल कुमार नाशा जी मेंबर सेक्रेटरी एनबीए वाइस चांसलर डायरेक्टर्स प्रिंसिपल्स एंड रिप्रेजेंटेटिव ऑल पार्टिसिपेटिंग इंस्टीट्यूशंस सीनियर ऑफिशियल्स इंस्टीट्यूशंस फैकल्टी मेंबर्स फ्रेंड्स फ्रॉम मीडिया Ladies and gentlemen, now I am happy to 
be part of this uh, India Ranking 2021 program on the sideline of Shikshak Parva. The Shikshak Parva is a new institution envisioned by our visionary Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji. When Prime Minister Modi took charge as a quality conscious leader, as a visionary leader, he advised the education sector to have a ranking framework in our country. Though we have some accreditation mechanism, accreditation architect, regulatory architect, though it was late, but at a timely step, Prime Minister took this decision, advised education sector since 2016. This is the sixth year we have a ranking framework and the tedious job has been assigned to NBA. I am told this is the global practice. The accreditation body, quality accreditation body is usually in charge of ranking. Today in the era of quality, all our citizen, our all our students are entitled to know where they are studying, what is the rank, what is the quality, and this is very essential in the 21st century. I am happy today we have announced 11 category in the different overall engineering, university, medical, dental, management. Architect, research, pharmacy, pharmaceutical, law. and law in all this area. And congratulations to all the institution, those who stood in the rank. They are the only quality institution, according to me, and also colleges. <coughs> Today there are fifty thousand formal institution in our country. And we have a student population of 50 million higher education student population in our country. Nearly. 50,000 colleges and above 50 million students. Ranking is inevitable. Ranking is must. And gradually the institution are coming forward to participate in the ranking framework. <coughs> this year, with an increasing number, the participant number is 6,000. I wish in future, almost all the institutions should come forward to participate in the ranking framework. My advice will be, in future, can we, looking into the size of our country, can we think about regional ranking framework? Can we think about provincial ranking framework? Because lot of students cannot, due to their socio-economic condition, <coughs> they cannot come forward, they cannot come out of their locality or their state and their provinces. And I am happy this NIRF National Institutional Ranking Framework primarily incorporated the area of important aspect of teaching, learning, resource, research and professional practice, graduate outcome, outreach and inclusivity, and the research is a primary focus of this <coughs> ranking framework and I am happy in India especially the public institutions must come out with the ranking framework because state is taking care of the higher education spendings our IITs, our engineering institutions like NIT state run and the provincial government run engineering colleges, universities, good colleges, 
the entire ecosystem is primarily qualitative in india but we are little bit hesitant uh, <coughs> this is our in a way sanskar because in india we never thought education as a product as a commodity in western world their way of ranking is little bit commercialized little bit uh, in a different uh, parameters so if i if i some days back in my initial days of uh, in higher education ministry when my colleague brief me about the ranking practice of the globe it was a pleasant surprise for me citation is one of the major criteria of ranking that means it shows the quality of research work quality of knowledge power in our institutions and it's a pleasant surprise to me i am candidly admit this fact i was not knowing this fact indian institute of science of bangalore is the number one in the global q science and congratulations to iisc bangalore but i fail to understand why iisc like institution is little bit hesitant to promote their own achievement this is a collective recognition of indian intellectual capacity by global assessor global uh, those who, who are in charge of global ranking framework so in future though our concept is vidya dan knowledge sharing western thought is knowledge cash and cash men knowledge monetization that's a methodology we can't uh, uh, i don't have any dispute on that also but my methodology is my way is uh, knowledge sharing i can get knowledge from a common common man i can knowledge i can get knowledge from the professors from the vice chancellors from the directors from the research institution heads so our methodology is little bit more qualitative more authentic more enriching so in future i can see a great uh, road map for this ranking framework in india where globe will appreciate our ranking methodology there's a basic uh, fundamental difference between our ranking assessment methodology and others ranking assessment methodology in future this uh, nirf should be benchmark for the, all the developing economy at least they should quote they should approach nirf please come to our country please assess our institutions please put your ranking framework in our country that can be our contribution to the global education ecosystem that we can i strongly believe number 2 friends we have to face a reality today my figure my information may be little bit uh, here and there but primarily what i could understand in last uh, few days around 0.4 million students are going out of country for education and more than a, a 1 lakh crore rupees were spending on that putting together 1 lakh crore rupees were spending that there this is in a way reverse challenge to us reverse challenge to our economy reverse challenge to our meritorious poor students in the era of technology in the era of openness the national education policy is giving us opportunity to internationalize our education ecosystem and we are open to invite all the big institution quality institution of the developed economy whoever can come to our country our ugc our ai city our ministries are open to have a common framework 
the virtual university we are planning in our system also recently on the occasion of first year completion of our nep we have developed the instrument of virtual school gradually we are moving towards virtual universities online is a need of the time looking at all this reality and we have assured in our uh, nep quality education is paramount to all of us so utilizing and taking opportunity of technology for our own benefit more patent should be there more entrepreneurial model should be there our industry should be more linked to our academia our industry and academia should influence our policy making then only we can create a robust economy and our kind of economy where the basic uh, philosophy is giving up giving back our philosophy is giving back to society vidya dana sharing with this philosophy our ranking will be the parameters of quality so i congratulate nba education ministry for having this uh, nira framework i expect more institutions more universities more colleges in the next round in the 2022 this 6000 number must be 12000 it should be multiply in a bigger number not for number only <coughs> in the real time quality point of view also again i congratulate all the 11 category achiever today my best is best wishes are with them but i have a small when i was talking to dr agrawal in my chamber i asked him how many private institutions are there in this ranking system they are there some philanthropic institution like mata murtanandi mata institution is there manipal medical institution is there but in future when we are envisioning about the institute of eminence category so rightly prime minister uh, given vision to us and when he was uh, addressing the teachers community professional community two days back on the inaugural function of shikshak shiksha parv he gave us a clarion call the idea is not monopoly of any institution idea is open idea is idea may come from anybody so in this peer when we are very open we are very uh, candid on this issue in future private institution should also come up in this ranking framework they should participate they should come up in the quality point of view we have given them lot of uh, freedom lot of autonomy and in future government is planning for higher education commission framework hecki in the new framework much more autonomy will be given to whether it is public institution or private institution with this background i expect much more participation in the ranking framework and more quality framework will follow it up thank you friends namaskar thank you very much uh, honorable minister of education dr devendra panand ji for your kind words and sir i just want to give you that in the top 100 uh, institution ranking uh, in various categories many part, private party institutions are also coming but in the top 10 yes there are two three but in 100 list there are around 20 to 30 institutions which are there in the private sector sir so they are participating and we will be encouraging more and more private institutions to come forward thank you very much sir and uh, now it is my privilege to give a vote of thanks to uh, the the uh, uh, for this annual uh, event
first of all, I would like to thank our Honorable Minister of Education, Sri Devendra Pradhan Ji, who has kindly consented to announce the ranking in the release of India Ranking Report for 2021 in spite of the release. Thank you very much, sir, and keep on with your aspirations uh, uh, for the next year also, sir. And I'm also thankful to uh, the Honorable Minister of State for Education, Srivati Anupurana Devi Ji, and thank you for the release of the event. She has also kindly consented to be the here in spite of uh, her busy schedule. And I'm thankful to Dr. Subhash Sarkar Ji for the opportunity of in these categories. And Dr. Raj Kumar Ranjan Singh, the Honorable Minister of Education. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot, sir. And I'm thankful to the uh, Secretary Secretary in Higher Education, Amit Khare Ji, and uh, uh, for who has kindly consented to be here. And uh, Honorable Chair, uh, Secretary Chairman of uh, UGC, uh, Professor DPCG, and uh, Professor Nils has good day, the Honorable uh, Secretary Chairman of EICTE, All India Council for Technical Education, and Professor KK Agarwalji, uh, uh, Chairman uh, uh, and the National Board of Accreditation. I'm also thankful to uh, Shri Rakesh Ranjanji, Additional Secretary, though he's not here today for his continuous guidance. He has been giving us while implementing the uh, NIRF uh, ranking schemes. And I'm also thankful to the members of in, uh, our implementation core committee of NIRF, Indian Ranking Society members, <laughs> committee members, all the officials of the Ministry of HRD, and all the participating institutions for giving us the inputs whenever we required uh, the information they had been able to give us despite uh, there's a huge loss during the corona period in their families and all we have been constantly in touch with them to get the information from i'm thankful to all the participating institutions to, for coordinating with us and i'm thankful to our partner uh, inflipnet uh, for director professor jurek and his entire team who has been working during the corona period uh, 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 day and night to help the help uh, nba to implement uh, nirf and I'm, I'm, help, I'm thankful to our team at NBA uh, and uh, Dr. Priyanka Singh and Dr. Jagdish Aroda who have been helping me along with their team and working day and night uh, together here with us. And I'm thankful to our third party source uh, providers information, the research category that is Web of Science and Scopus for providing the information right in time. And uh, I'm thankful to each one and all and wish all the institutions for best for the coming. Thank you very much. Thank you for all.